Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be sharing with you guys where our money went for the month of November regarding the house obviously and you know what changes took place and what we are planning to do with our money for the month of December with these new changes. So if you're interested in hearing about that then please keep watching. And I am coming to you live from my bedroom, which is kind of ghetto. Um, not the fact that I'm in my bedroom, but if you saw this setup, like my tripod is literally on my Teddy Blake bag box. And I have some pillows surrounding the box to stabilize this video camera situation because, and I'm not gonna be moving a whole lot because then it'll move. But this was like some pretty good lighting and my neighbor's music is much too loud for me to be in the front part of the apartment so here I am so anyway um a couple of weeks ago a video went up on my channel which I will link up here regarding what our plans were for November and December but things changed for the better I would think and I just want to update you guys because I just feel like I'm apprehensive towards what I put out on the interwebs regarding plans <laughs> interestingly enough I know don't come for me but um Unless they're like, unless I feel really good about them. I don't know. I'm kind of like, I don't ever want to say that I'm going to do something or whatever and then have to come back. Like if you're a content creator, then I think you would probably understand that. But um, yeah, I just don't ever want to put out information and then have to come back and talk about why it didn't happen. Or even like, I don't know. I don't know that that matters. The moral of the story though is that I just want to share with you guys what happened because some of that stuff did not happen so let's actually just let's just talk about it okay okay so for november i'm pretty sure we were trying to not necessarily save but to have an excess of three thousand dollars because we wanted to do some stuff with the three thousand dollars and here is what we wanted to do originally we wanted to buy a fridge buy a vlog camera and pay for our car insurance and that was the total the sum of that was going to be you know roughly three thousand dollars or so so here's what actually happened so the first thing that happened is we actually had to pay our appraisal so that was the due i think that was paid on november the 18th that was five hundred dollars the appraisal is something that we were expecting to pay maybe in december um but we didn't really know for sure because we have to pay it whenever our loan officer tells us to pay it now here's how this works your appraisal a house cannot be appraised our house I'm not gonna talk about every house because I don't know our house cannot be appraised until it is 90% completed when we paid our appraisal it was only 67% completed but um, the fact of the matter is you know they want you to pay it they give you some time to pay it. we just paid it the same day and um, they can go ahead and start working out whatever they need to work out so when the house is 90% completed and the builder tells them that it's 90% completed they can send somebody out to appraise the house so that actually happened um, around the middle of the month the next thing that happened was that we paid our car insurance our car insurance premium is paid every six months per our own wanting and um, it's normally a pretty penny because there's normally a speed and ticket on the car insurance record or whatever um since we have since we're married well either way even if well i haven't had a, a speeding ticket in a long time but before we even got married we both had hella speeding tickets on our record okay so i don't fault my husband i mean he's just slow down yes um and i feel bad for him because whenever he does get pulled over he's like going like five miles over the speed limit but nevertheless you need to not break the rules so i extend a lot of grace because I want I I too once had a uh, heavy foot so anyway moral of the story is if we did not pay it in full which would give us some savings we would have to pay about 1400 but because we like to pay it in full to get the savings we ended up paying $1,064 and we did that on November the 21st apparently according to my records and um that took place so that was the only thing well it's a couple things that we have to do that aren't really house related that was one of the things the next thing is the camera the vlog camera i actually bought i actually bought this camera at the beginning of november but 
um we put it on the credit card because i put all sketchy um purchases on the credit card assuming that the purchase isn't more than the limit of the credit card which is 1500 not much and um then we just paid it back whenever we felt like it really and that according to my records was in november the 21st so that was 410 camera I bought, I bought off of facebook marketplace came with two batteries two chargers no two batteries two memory cards one charger two tripods and one little bag and i've been loving it and i couldn't be happier and that was one of the things that wasn't exactly house related either but moving on to the next thing that happened was we so the other day last week if you guys follow me on instagram then you saw we had to run a u-haul so the other week i woke up and was scrolling facebook marketplace like i do the daily newspaper well i don't read the newspaper but like if if you read it then that's how i read facebook marketplace <laughs> that's how i scroll through facebook marketplace and you guys I saw this bomb deal. So first of all, had I bought everything MSRP, I would have spent I would have spent easily $1,500, $1,600, upwards of $1,700. However, this deal was for $700. So we got a bomb, bomb headboard and frame. We got a mattress. It's one of those um, like mattress in a bags. I forgot the brand of it. But one of those, which was new, they were downgrading. They were moving and downgrading into a smaller house. So they had to get rid of their king stuff is what I was told. I don't know. That's just what I was told. So um, a mattress, which I normally am funny acting about um, mattresses. However, for the price that I was paying for it, it kind of seemed like a no brainer. Basically, um, the mattress was like $200, like with the deal that she had conjured up. And then also it came with the box spring and also a mattress cover, protector, a bunch of stuff. And it was $700. So the issue was we had to go get it. So I had to rent a U-Haul, which was $50. FYI, yes, you can rent a U-Haul for $19.95 or whatever it is that they advertise. But you have to pay some fees and stuff and mileage and whatnot, which is going to bring your total to much higher than $19.95, I'm sure. So our total was a little less than $50. So... That was $700 and then $50 for the U-Haul. So basically $750 for all of that. But um, I'm really happy with it. I really love it. I'm excited about it. It's like just what I was looking for. It's a upholstered headboard, all of that. So that was a thing for last week. Also, um, this week was Black Friday week. And we... This is where things get tricky. So we had on in our budget that at the end of November, we would buy a refrigerator. And it wasn't like we had to, but I was thinking like, if ever I'm going to get a good deal on a refrigerator, it's probably going to be Black Friday. So I'm going to be prepared to spend however much I need to spend to get a good deal on a refrigerator. So we actually got a refrigerator for $1,100. And that's going to include delivery, installation, and all the parts because the parts were $10 and um that happened for black friday weekend also what happened black friday weekend is we went and we spent about twelve hundred dollars on a bunch of stuff so we have four big screen tvs i know four big screen tvs we bought like 70 pieces of towels and washcloths and hand towels and my husband got some fake airpods and we got um, a robot vacuum cleaner for $150. And we got some plastic meal prep containers for like $7. So total, like, for all of that, I just told you the total. So the total for everything that I just gave you was, is $1,200 plus. So the total, the sum of everything that we bought this month is like five thousand dollars and remember we were trying to save a minimum of three so that we could do some of the things on the original list but because we did work hard and earn some more we were able to do a little more so that's kind of where the black friday shopping came in it it and the um the mattress set and all of that those were the things that we kind of just purchased like on a whim because we had the extra funds so yeah we've spent like five k 
on house things, but I couldn't be more excited. I'm happy. I feel like we got really good deals on everything. I mean, we have four big screen TVs and we got them for $650. So, um, was it $650? Let me see. It was $200. Oops, I might have did my math wrong. Did I do my math wrong? No, my math is right. Yeah, so six fifty. So I'm over the moon. Three fifty inches and one fifty eight inch TV, six hundred and fifty dollars, and it's the Walmart brand. So anyway, I'm over the moon. I'm excited about it, and so that is what we did for the month of November. So let's go ahead and talk about December now. So what's left on our list for December? An inspection. We don't technically have to get an inspection, but I mean, it makes sense to do so. So we are going to get an inspection and we do, we are expecting that inspection to be anywhere from like $300 to $500. We're assuming about $400. We have to pay our movers um, whenever it comes time to move. Per the quote, I'm expecting that to be about $500. But if we keep buying stuff and bringing it here, it's going to take them longer than what they were originally going to take. So we may have to tack on another $150 or so because it's like $130 an hour. The next is blinds. Um, we are budgeting $500 for that, give or take. So even if we have to install them ourselves, that's perfectly fine. I believe that we can get our blinds for under $500 and install them ourselves. If not, like if there's no, if we can't get like some kind of great deal and get them installed, which $500 is really pushing it. But like I said, I'm only willing to spend $500 on blinds. So if I have to spend $500 on blinds and install them myself, that's just what we're going to have to do. And then the next thing is we need to pay off our couch, which is at Ashley. The remaining balance is $1,600. So we need to pay off the couch. And that is one of the things that, well, that's probably the last thing that we'll do. Because it's kind of like, even though it's an important piece, it's kind of like the least important thing that we have to do. It's also the most expensive out of everything. So... That'll probably happen whenever we do close because we do need to, um, like we'll need to pay it off and schedule the delivery. So that'll probably happen sometime, you know, around the 20th, 21st of the month. And then there was one other thing that I forgot. I totally forgot to budget for and I need to budget for it. What the heck was it? I was just talking to my husband. I was like, we have not budgeted for this and we need to budget for it. Whatever it was, it was actually kind of expensive. I'll probably think of it. Oh my gosh, husband. He is so excited about this house. He's texting me. He said 21 week, twenty-one day. I said I can't wait to move. He said 21 days, three weeks. Literally, it's going to go super fast. I know, right? I'm just, you know, I said I know either. That's why you don't type fast. Security. It was security. I just texted my husband. Shout out to him for coming through. So, um... We are prepared to pay a monthly fee for security. Like, I feel like that's at the forefront of our brains in our new budget. But I don't think, I think we've been like completely negating the fact, like we know this, but it's just kind of like subconscious that we're going to have to buy some equipment. Um, I don't know if there are companies that allow you to rent security system equipment, but we would probably just buy ours because I would imagine that would be much cheaper than renting it. So I think we've just kind of like been overlooking the fact that we'll have to buy this equipment and then possibly pay a monthly fee. And I haven't, we haven't like pinned down which security system we want, but a couple of the ones that I have been looking at, um, you buy equipment and then you pay a monthly fee. So we'll have to like figure out what's what about that, but we probably need to move fast. And I'll tell you how this finally hit us in the face. It hit us in the face um, the other day, so we had to call and get homeowners insurance and we had the policy, like we've scheduled it to go into effect on our closing date, which is supposed to be 1220. So the way that this works is because lenders <laughs> and people who give mortgages, mortgage loans, they don't really trust individuals to pay their own homeowners insurance. So they actually usually pay the policy up front and then you have to pay them their money back on a monthly basis works for me um although I feel like I wonder if there's a way that I can just pay it up front like whenever I'm paying the car insurance or whatever and then because it's literally due the same month well it'll be due yearly and car insurance is due twice a year I was wondering if there's a way you could just like pay it up front I need to look into that because I'd rather just do that and have that little 
payment knocked off of my mortgage each month. Anyway, the way that, that it works is that that's how it works. You get the policy, you tell, you figure out how much it's going to be, you give them the information, they'll pay it up front, and then you have to pay them back monthly, and then I guess you do that again. I guess you just keep repeating that every year. That would be my assumption. But anyway, um, whenever I did that, the progressive lady called me, a new progressive lady called me back like two days later, and she was just like a friendly reminder. I see on here that you're getting a discount for having like an alarm system, so... I know that you're not moving into the house or you're not supposed to until next month. So you'll have 30 days after your moving moving date, which is when the policy goes into effect on 1220 to let us know to, you know, confirm that you have some kind of security system and like validate that, which we're not getting it for. We're not getting a security system for the discount. We're getting it because we want a security system. So anyway, that's when it kind of smacked us in the face like, oh, snap, like, <laughs> Like I did put on there that we were going to have a security system, but we don't currently have one. So then it kind of smacked me in the face that um, we'll have because I think she wants what she asked for was documentation when the people come out and set it up. So like that made it real. <laughs> so anyway, um, I need to do some research regarding research regarding that um, to figure to pinpoint which one I want. I need to look at a quote. Um and you know go online maybe call around to see you know what kind of equipment we're looking for how much it's going to cost us um what the monthly fee will be or like figure out all of that so yeah that is something that we have not quite budgeted for but um these people are giving us 30 days to figure it out so it's not anything that we need to come up with real quick like in a huge rush we don't we have until january 20th 20th technically to do it but it is something that we need to figure out so anyway just wanted to come on here pop on here share with you guys the updates um i hope that you guys are enjoying this i think that you guys are enjoying the vlog style videos i'm of the impression that i need to like because i normally bulk film i normally like set up my good camera and just do the most which i prefer that one because i can put an external mic on there and it just sounds so much better but i'm just of the impression that whenever I'm doing my bulk recording, if I'm doing bulk recording, that I just have to do the most. And when in reality, I think that this video, like these types of videos probably are appreciated just as much. So anyway, just wanted to pop on here, provide you guys with an update. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.